Hi everybody, so in video 1736 we made this thing which is a wood burning rocket stove. Now, wood burning rocket stoves work because in this part here they get hot and that paralyzes the wood, gives off some gas, the gas gets here and we then burn the gas making them very efficient and for that you need something like this. However, this burns at a rate of not so much so that you really need to be able to f uh, feed fuel in here so putting in sticks in something small like this, you'll probably be forever putting in sticks. So you need a fuel hopper of some kind, so maybe pellets. And of course it looks ideal for being a, an oil burner, a liquid fuel burner, and that's what we're going to turn this into. And to do that, we don't need this section. We only need this section, really. So let's cut this section off. Okay, so there it is with the front end cut off. And what I've got here is a bean can with some ethanol in it and of course some of our carbon felt magic wick around the edge so that it's burning from the wick. Now if I put it that in there, then what we'll get is a rubbish flame. We get a rubbish flame because we're choking off all of the air and it's a really low flame. I'll let you see that in a minute. So what we need is a door on it. The minute we put a door on, then the vortex starts and you can see the flames beginning to <laughs> lick out of the top there, which is pretty awesome. So this is the state of the flame without the door on and you can see it's burning just like ethanol would. Let me put the door on. Isn't that awesome? You can see we're getting a roaring vortex and a much better flame out of that and of course that's burning quite ferociously. And if we remove the door, it dies right back again. And door back on! <laughs> So finally, if I put a mantle on, and this is a 150 millimeters mantle, what we'll see is occasionally the flames lick up here, but this is getting really very hot there. So we're getting a lot of heat being captured by that steel plate above the mantle. This is radiating out a lot of heat. And of course, what we've got in here is a pecan with some ethanol in it, which is pretty cool. So as a prototype, what we're looking at is a liquid fuel burner that looks pretty efficient. What we need to do, obviously, is create a reservoir. So we've got the burner head, which is the pecan. We need to feed a tube in there, and then we can actually feed it from an external reservoir. Of course, if we're using heavier oils, we put the tube down the centre of this pipe to pre-warm the fuel before it went into the burner section. But that is the structure of a vortex liquid fuel heater. Now it's obviously a lot more stable than other heaters that we've made and clearly the flame is nicely contained now as well. It's in an open can and it's unspillable so there's an awful lot more safety there but that's the prototype that I'm thinking of. Anyway I hope you enjoyed the video because I'm showing you how to convert a rocket fuel, uh, a rocket stove vortex into a liquid fuel vortex and I hope it was of interest. I'm clearly going to develop this prototype a little bit more. If people have suggestions then I'm always open to suggestions because a lot of this was suggested to me remember. The mantle came as a suggestion for instance somebody said why don't you give that a go. So a lot of these things I do pick up on people's suggestions but I hope you enjoyed the video. Thank you very much for watching and it was certainly a little less scary than the wood stove vortex burn that we made and a little more controlled. Please do remember to like and subscribe.